Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is July 14th, 2021. And we're doing a movie club live stream. We are going to give our take regarding the last uh, six movies. The movies we picked from the last live stream, movie club live stream. And they are... Let me do this. Oh, I should have put these in order. Seven Samurai. Let me put this up top. We're going to take a look at Seven Samurai. That was on our homework watch list. And then, and then we got Buck Rogers in the 25th century. That was on, on our homework watch list. And then, and then, and we're going in order right now. We had Bottle Rockets. Oop, let me take down Buck Rogers. We had Bottle Rockets from 1996 that we're going to watch. Buck Rogers from 1970s, I believe 76. Seven Samurai was 54 or something like that. And then, and then, we had, we had, let's go in order. We had Super Troopers to watch. And that was 2000, 2001 or something like this. And then, and then we had gladiator which was i forget when it was let me give you the dates on these gladiator ah super troopers was 2001 and gladiator was 2000 so let's put these in order let's put these in order so gladiator before super troopers and then and then our last homework was the lighthouse from 19 uh sorry 2019 2019 okay aside from that uh we're gonna wait until people come in notifications to go out and uh let me confirm that we are live streaming and we are live streaming who knows when the no notifications get sent out um but as we wait while we wait let me tell you who i am what this is about where you can find more information I am on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash chicho, C-H-Y-C-H-O. If you want to support this work, if you want to know what this work is about, crack. Good afternoon, good afternoon. Hope you're doing well. I hope it's uh, nice temperatures for you. You are live, live, live. <laughs> Third aggression, how are you doing? Welcome to a live stream, Birdie here. What's up, what's up? Intrepid, how's how's his life man long time no see indeed indeed welcome back welcome back higgins how are you doing claw dog claw dog higgins hello hello i hope you guys are doing well and for those of you that want to know what we're doing we are live streaming on twitch and if you want to participate in the chat that's a little saying uh, twitch is where you want to be at and gang uh for those of you that are supporting this work on twitch and patreon thank you very much for the support gang it is because of the collective support that we're getting on these platforms that we're able to do what it is that we are doing crack it's been blazing hot we just got air conditioning put into wow you put air conditioning in really that's a rarity in canada canada has population of 33 million let's say 34 million from the 34 million i bet it's a very small percent that have air conditioning inside the house very small percent a chicho guess would be i say 3 million 10 percent less than 10 percent of the population of canada probably has air conditioning at home maybe five percent punisher max how are you doing hey chicho great to see you friend great to see you as well brother third aggression not as hot as it was june 28th <laughs> yeah here it's nice this is nice temperature in the sun is hot right um working in a patio this gets a little hot right uh, but it's nice bearable ronnie how are you doing welcome welcome fires in bc indeed a lot of people are losing a lot of property man a lot of possessions uh hearts and minds to them really it's crazy i couldn't even imagine 
I don't want to imagine crack we couldn't do without it any longer it's been getting worse every year as as uh, you are well aware yeah yeah there is something going on anybody that's denying that is not paying attention football didn't come home no <laughs> for the year football didn't go home to you guys you garden chicho indeed ronnie yeah in pots only in pots only i thought the subject was crack ha <laughs> <laughs> and gang we do live streaming i mean we do announce these live streams on mines vk gab parlor bitclout and there's another one i'm going to be adding soon right and we do have what's up cyanide for dinner we do have a discord page you can come to our chat anytime you want on twitch type in exclamation mark social and all those links with the social platforms will pop up I don't think I put BitCloud in there yet. I will, as well as our Discord page there where you can join in the conversation and share information. We will be... I'm going to turn this on. <laughs> Let's turn on the audio for this. I forgot to press play on it. Because we will be... Test, test, test. We will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho, C H Y C H O. And for those of you that are listening on SoundCloud um, to this live stream as a podcast, apologies for skipping the first five minutes of this live stream. I forgot to turn on the recorder. So now we got the audio. And today is July 14th, 2021. And we're doing a movie club live stream where we're going to review six movies that we have or we picked to watch as homework to do reviews for the first one was seven samurai from 1954 and then we had buck rogers from 1979 we have bottle rockets from 1996 we have gladiator from 2000 we have super troopers from 2001 and we got the lighthouse from 2019 and for those of you that are watching this live stream here are the posters for them they're going to talk about the little thingamajesus i gave you the lowdown oops it goes the other way i'm going to go backwards on this lighthouse super troopers gladiator bottle rockets buck rogers and the seven samurai I'll bring those back up when we're going through the live stream. Padre, 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 how are we doing? It was a, it was as close to coming home as it was possible without actually coming. Home. <laughs> pretty much, pretty much. The only thing that could have been closer it could have gone to sudden death, where one penalty was missed. Horrendous penalties, though, man. Wow. Third aggression. Do you watch movies? Any ones you are anticipating? Any ones that I'm waiting for? Are there any movies that I'm waiting for? Let me think about that. My mind is full of these movies right now. And for those of you that are watching these videos these live streams after the fact we will be uploading the this live stream to sensor tube to bitchute to rumble and to odyssey and again gang thank you very much for the collective support that you're showing us on all these platforms let me take these guys down which one was your favorite out of this list which one was my favorite i had a couple of favorites i had a couple of favorites a new wes anderson movie is coming out what's it called what's it about yeah the french dispatch it's called the french dispatch caligula's horror is that what you're doing <laughs> i always have to read your name twice <laughs> micro how are you doing you should see the lone wolf and cub movie series uh, i've seen some of it yeah uh there are six Good summer. That's the black and white you're talking about, right? Are we uh, microtus? You're talking about the black and white. I love Wes Anderson. Yeah, Wes Anderson. But uh, Lone Wolf and Cub. There isn't any new ones that have come out, right? Not the black and white ones. Which ones are we talking about? 
lone wolf and cub no these are in color i don't think i've seen a lone wolf and cub in color these are all oh, 1970s maybe i have i thought maybe it was earlier have i seen the 1970s i don't know if i've seen color thanks for the heads up by the way if you're on our discord uh here's our discord uh, server if you're on discord we've got a movies or film film folder uh late 70s i don't remember watching those um uh, so yeah i wouldn't mind watching them i've seen some of the older ones they're fantastic and i've read uh, a fair chunk of the manga at the time anyway <laughs> Matt PS are we doing Hichi Cho and chat I'm a bit more of a listener but love the content have a great stream awesome Matt thank you for popping in and doing the texting or typing <laughs> for me too when I watch live streams it's rare that I interact with uh, with chat or the live streams I sort of sometimes put it in the background do other stuff and whatnot third aggression spider-man no way home uh, no way home sounds like it'll be crazy crazy trip uh alfred molera is returning as doc ock oh he is i'd say i'm uh, waiting for that and dr strange dr strange for sure but i'm more excited to see the several dc projects and development yeah the superhero stuff i'm uh, i always love seeing i don't i don't really it's rare that i miss a superhero movie or tv series i give them a shot anyway in regards to the tv series um so but is there one that i'm really overly excited about i would say uh some of the independent uh ones that are supposed to be coming out that are in development um so i'm excited and carnage carnage 100 man i got i have my hopes up for carnage look i'm hoping the 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 financial gain is going to supersede the wokeness of making a carnage movie when it comes to disney right i'm hoping they go for the money instead of the wokeness we'll see we'll see it's been a while friend diet thug how are you doing welcome welcome the Zatu Zatuichi series I've seen, and I saw the movie, very good, man. The Blind Swordsman, so good, so good. Miki Takeki, or what's his name, his series are also good. 26 long feature films. I've seen a couple of those, but I like the remake, that Zat Zatuichi uh, remake that came out in the early 2000s, mid 2000s. Very good, very good. Big fan of those. Ch -ch. I know Alfred Maloney, a uh, great guy used to always come to my work really awesome awesome good to know i'm on board for the next doctor strange as well yeah me too i have that box set robert pattison and batman man is robert pattison the person in the lighthouse is he in the lighthouse is that the guy the the thingamajiggy the twilight guy i'm scrolling down gangs i'm sorry i'm missing chat you say yeah yeah mol mol lean ah molina molina ah molina molina okay cool as far as let me say his name again robert patterson in the lighthouse holy crap willem dafoe and him should we should we start talking about movies gang should we start talking about movies <laughs> Should we start talking about the movies? What time is it? Elder God's not here yet, but I'm 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 assuming he'll be okay if we start talking about. Should we go in reverse order? Start with the most recent and go backwards? Yeah, the lighthouse, lighthouse. Me, we're going with the lighthouse gang. Okay, gang, we're doing our movie reviews and discussions. I hope everybody's here because we're starting with phenomenal. I felt lost in that movie lighthouse we're talking about the lighthouse gang one of the movies we had on our list to watch is the lighthouse from 2019 starring willem dafoe let me give you the who, who these people are that way oh i'm not gonna brutalize it um directed by roger uh, robert eagers and i looked down on this i watched this last night i looked 
into this guy he's only directed like three shorts and another movie coming up or something like this what a director starring robert pattinson and william william defoe okay holy crap what a phenomenal movie as far as i'm concerned 10 out of 10 okay 10 out of 10 talk about a tr talk about a trip Patterson was always great. It was just that Twilight was bad. Yeah, I avoided everything from that guy because of the Twilight. I was like, man, I can't watch this, right? I'm always here. I'm just waiting. Oh, God, awesome, awesome. I'm glad you made it. Uh, third aggression. For me, my first time seeing Willem Dafoe was in Spider-Man as the Green Goblin, but I did many months back. Watched The Lighthouse, cool. And Willem Dafoe, I, I really like Willem Dafoe as an actor. He's done some phenomenal work. But as far as I'm concerned, this is his best work. This is saying a lot regarding Willem Dafoe. Okay. Third aggression takes a lot for me to watch something new, even to watch something I've seen before. Uh, third aggression for me as well. That's one of the reasons I'm loving these movie streams, right? It's getting me to watch, sample some new stuff and as well as look at some older stuff that we've looked at one of them being one movie that i recommend <laughs> oh my god right on a scale of the lighthouse and Bach rogers one is a zero the other one is a 10 right eduardo i watched this uh, uh, several months ago i even forgot it was because of the movie club haha <laughs> I know we're way we're way overdoing this one, right? Crack. The witch was his first. I haven't seen that one. I'm gonna watch it. Amazing stuff. I hear he is. Uh, th 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 crack says crack. Where to go? Crack. I I hear he is doing a Viking movie. Yeah, that's the one I saw in his next movie. Uh, that's coming up. That sounds. I'm not gonna miss it. Okay. Third uh, third aggression. I've only seen the first Twilight. <laughs> I seen maybe five minutes. I was like, no, I'm walking away from this man. He's the Green Goblin. Yeah, yeah. He was the Green Goblin. Cyanide for dinner. Will this be a spoiler or spoiler free review? Uh, cyanide for dinner. It's gonna contain spoilers. It's gonna contain spoilers. Okay, you think about what you want to watch. Let me show you guys what I got for snacks. These are local plums that we picked just like down the street, and local. Uh, cherries sour cherries these are amazing with salt on them okay you take salt and you pour it on top they're very sour and sour and salt go really good together okay and you give them a wash so they're a little wet so the salt sticks to them that's my stack okay very good see the salt flakes on there very delicious let's see if we'll focus okay oh 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 trying to focus trying to focus let me grab a couple of these maybe i'll focus on two hard time hard time oh it just doesn't want to do it Some of the best acting I've seen, uh, Caligula says. Scene, I got a little confused though. Willem Dafoe, uh, Caligula's whole shirt, that. Uh, third aggression, Willem Dafoe is also fish in Nemo. Ah, oh, I didn't know that. And, uh, and us in uh, Jack Wick. John Wick, really? And he's in Aquaman. Yeah, he's in Aquaman. I forget that it was in John Wick. John Wick was fantastic. And Platoon. Elder God, Willem Dafoe is, is a god to be. For the first time I saw him in uh, Streets of Fire, Elder God, what a movie. What a movie. Awesome movie. Very 80s. Very awesome. Skag bond, Bonds. Speaking of Lighthouse, that reminds me of the Shutter Island. Love movies with mysterious endings. Padre, Padre, Padre. Willem Dafoe's big monologue in this was nuts. It was like a paragraph out of Moby Dick come to life. And it was, it was a Mo Moby Dick tribute as far as I'm concerned. This movie, right? It was an internal conflict of the captain trying to tame the beast or tame something. It was phenomenal, right? 
and both care i'll give you my thing uh, spoilers gang both characters dealing with something possibly for one of them right for sure for him and willem dofoe it's here or there we don't know it's left with both of them dealing with their past and trying to just going crazy uh right crack not sure what the first the full movie was that i saw but i'm thinking wild at heart wild at heart was he in wild at heart i can't remember now microtus are we gonna watch a movie now no we're not watching movies will you watch on your own time and we talk about them all right so we do movie these movie streams we do two uh per set right one of them is reviewing movies we recommend in the previous set and then we do one where we recommend new movies for people to watch and we re review in a couple of months later and we're gonna stay on a couple of months uh, i love william the phone last temptation of christ so good so good are you putting fro uh, frozen by no no not right now it's not hot enough kitties are fine with this temperature they're loving it skag bonds try to put a hand behind it and it will focus yeah that's true that let's try it out i'll grab you guys a couple of couple of yummies hey look let's see if we'll focus cherries 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 <laughs> oh it's not focusing it's not focusing but i'm taking them all down Yeah, when he curses Patterson, when Patterson says, I don't like your food, he just goes insane with it. Right? So good. The one eyed seagull was extremely open to interpretation. Mm, I didn't catch that one. god good point i'm trying to think about it now it was insane the sec this last seagull moment was crazy and the one-eyed seagull was in the tank right oh yeah yeah third aggression he's in a movie i've seen previews on he works um at some hotel um uh, motel i can't remember that one Your catchphrase is phenomenal. My catchphrases switch up every now and then. <laughs> funny, funny. Van Gogh, he was in Van Gogh too. Caligula's horse. Speaking of Christmas, have you seen Shutter? I haven't, I don't think I've seen Shutter Island. Or no, I've seen Shutter Island. That's with uh, um, the tall, skinny actor. What's his name? He's he's uh, he's a detective, but he ends up. Well, I won't give you spoilers. Uh, what's his name the, he's a major actor he's a major actor yeah yeah i've seen shutter island i'm a, a positive phenomenal phenomenal the ending was quite f up in the lighthouse the third aggression i thought it was brilliant it was so good so good and i'm so glad it was shot in black and white it was it was equivalent to uh fish was it fish that movie from the 1980s that was shot in black and white and the only thing in color was uh the fish that was orange or red or something like this it was about uh like street gangs or stuff is was it called fish i can't remember yeah leonardo dicaprio yeah yeah, I've seen Shutter Island. I liked it. Shutter Island was pretty good. Ding Bobber, you know you got to someone when um, when you win a high skills one versus one in a video game. Message them while fought, and they message back. Oh God, <laughs> no. Ding Bobber. <laughs> So, sorry, unrelated. I didn't watch the, these movies. So I'll uh, dip just one at the moment. Awesome thing, Bobber. You should ding, Bobber. Brother, uh, there's, there's, there's like two or three movies on this list that are well worth watching. Pretty damn intense, though. 
the hell of God. I found the lighthouse a homoerotic experience. The quote, uh, quote, you're fond of my lobster, haha, <laughs> end quote, had nothing to do with food. Uh, I don't know, I didn't take it that far. But there were, when you think about it, there were erotic moments in there, right? Sort of twisted erotic moments, right? Tall, skinny. The Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> Third aggression. Oh, he's a hotel manager in the Florida project that came out in two, uh, 2015. I haven't seen that one. Have you all seen The Wailing, a Korean horror movie? The best horror film I've watched. Ronnie, is that The, the Wailing? I don't know if uh, a Train, the Korean uh, zombie movie is great. Train to the first one and the second one bakuku or what's it called padre 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 really like how the place kept flooding and the place just fell apart more and more yeah the the imagery right the the fl and gang the soundtrack holy camoles when i watched this the first 15 minutes or so 20 minutes for me were equivalent to there will be blood in terms of how magnificent the lighthouse was it was just Im you just immersed in the movie just because of the soundtrack there was barely any dialogue amazing amazing i haven't looked into who did the soundtrack by the way and a cgi Caligula's horse yes i highly recommend korean horror thrillers such as forgotten the wailing and mother cool and there's one they had uh, in the night in the early 2000s there were two sisters twin sisters it was really trippy i forget what the i think it was just called sisters crack so glad it was black and white as well yeah yeah I saw it in the theater. Oh, you saw it, dude. You're so lucky. I saw it in the theater, and honestly, I found it a little tough to sit through at parts. Um, the foe's monologues were incredible, though. The ending was just insane. Oh, crack. I would have loved to have seen this movie in the theater. Really, I would have gone and seen it a couple of times. I went and saw There Will Be Blood in the theater three times. That's how I th that's how amazing I thought the visuals were and the soundtrack and everything. Uh, this I consider to be on the same level. 10 out of 10 for me, without a doubt. Yes, indeed, I wanted them to go all in. Bo Bosan, Bosan, yeah, train to Bosan. Padre, Padre, thank you. Fantastic movie no the wailing wall is a proper horror film please please watch it everyone ronnie recommend it to us on our discord page this court okay or in two days time we're doing movie recommendations right and we're gonna people are gonna recommend movies we're gonna run polls and this is how we came to be on this one right you're not going to be so disappointed hopefully someone will recommend it to us Oh God, they used many old tricks to send a message which was not spoken. It reminded me of the um, Fight Club a great deal. Ah, good, good, cool, cool. By the way, gang, a huge spoiler. So, this guy's character, right? The assistant, Patterson. A huge spoiler warning. Uh, um, sh should I ask you guys, did he, did he kill his previous worker and did Willem Dafoe kill his previous assistant those are for me this is yes for me this is unknown still a tale of two a tale of two sisters Caligula's horse is that the one what a phenomenal movie the Korean movie third aggression do you know michael keaton's coming back as batman no i had no idea it said his role is to be as, sig as significant as sean connery wow, wow wow was in the last crusade and harrison ford in filming indiana jones really five oh five i didn't watch indiana jones five <laughs> with james mackle <laughs> uh, so it was a cameo appearance Caligula's horse. My friends watched the lighthouse six times. Oh man, I, I wish I could have watched watched the lighthouse in the theater, right? Maldras, how are you doing? Saint Maud on Amazon. You're welcome. Maybe that's a movie. Third aggression. 
I saw Avengers Endgame 3 three times in the theater, once with my friend uh, Grant, once by myself, and once with my sister. Awesome. Uh, Elagod. Foe was extremely protective of the lighthouse and uh, deflected or stopped all conversation about the lighthouse. Yeah, what? Both men were murderers, but I, I have to say, I think, well, I won't say, oh, wait a second. Are you thinking the body was in the lighthouse? Is that what you're thinking? We're giving huge spoilers here, by the way, gang. I'm sorry, but I we need to talk about this. There's no way I can talk about this with anyone else because I don't want anyone else to watch this. Padre. And they were dealing with the same thing. Oh, American Psycho I've seen. American Psycho I saw in the theater. A couple of times at least. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. Uh, Eduardo, how are you doing? Don't worry. That's the whole idea of Movie Club, isn't it? it, it yeah, I think so too. Thanks, Eduardo, for... So, gang which way we're we going uh third aggression i'm just sitting in my car and waiting for uh my she's scared that i will take her away from their dreams and her country uh, left with no one there mesmerized the simple-minded propaganda leaves us blinded system of a down system of a down <laughs> i forget what the name of the song is though crack i like the deep dive into the into isolation and the intensity that can occur between men in general but put into an extremely isolating space uh makes me really uneasy uh, it, it was brilliant the only thing i wish about this movie was that the that the length of isolation initially was more than four weeks right and i know this is supposed to be in the 1800s and stuff like this and whatnot but I'm f one of the reasons they cracked was because, as Elder God said, they're probably both well, one of them was definitely a murderer, but they're probably both murderers, so they have they're, they're dealing with a lot, right? Uh, so but I wish it was longer, I wish it was like a six month, and then you could see people go crazy, right. Elder God, I saw a lot of Greek mythology used in the movie. The stealing of fire from the gods and the consequences of his act of this action. The the, the one-eyed uh, seagull that was a cool cool catch. I didn't it didn't it didn't click with me right there. Crack. Just thinking about men in the past that are in those jobs. Yeah, yeah, I think so and that period in general what a crazy period right diddy king 2000 i wonder if he didn't hurt the seabird that he'll uh he'll won't experience all the tragedies so he's trying to make sure it didn't come back not remember it not recollect it hypnotized hypnotized third aggression a six month movie padre 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 why could defoe handle the light but patterson no uh, i don't know if defoe was handling the light well enough uh, i think there was a sort of a uh, uh, sort of a pan that they showed it was only a few seconds with the foe sitting there in the lighthouse and he was just tripping balls right and he was naked i believe too where he he he, he was reliving maybe the horror of what he might have done right that's the way i took it elder god to padre yes even the end of pulled pulled direct from the fate of uh prometheus really laying on a rock 
being attacked by birds really i don't i can't remember the story of prometheus is that what it was very cool that was also one of the endings in uh, uh one of the shake shakespeare movies i saw uh, titus titan titus uh i think or was it othello um where the girl had had her hands cut and she was on a on a tree sort of crucified and a bird was picking at him or a crow was picking at her why would let's check this out spider-man aggression says spider-man no way home comes in december caligula's horse if the lighthouse was a one season tv show that would be great similar to the first season of the terror an amazing show okay I, did, I liked it as a movie um, because it, it was a nice psychedelic trip really for a couple of hours laugh out loud box anybody seen the never fast and furious movies <laughs> I have, the first one yes the, the half of it i think have you seen bloodshot vin diesel dinky king that's what i was thinking third aggression he had seagulls eating him alive yes seagulls eating him alive yeah and his eye was missing too he was a one-eyed person there too felix dropping on to send one message i recommend uh snatch by guy richie good movie <laughs> good movie snatch and lock stock and two smoking barrels caligula's horse I felt like Patterson was running from something the whole time, but his guilt and conscience finally caught up to him, making him insane. Yeah, yeah. I think Defoe was uh, had a handle of his insanity. In the lighthouse, he would let out the insanity. During work, he would act as completely uh, like a wall, like solid, right? like an unbroken unbroken human being and during dinner he would converse because he couldn't handle uh the silence uh in that setting he needed the conversations as he said to prevent him from going insane the elder god had a classic education i was lucky elder god says yeah very lucky i have more toilet paper how are you doing chicho good morning it's been too long the kids got a little intense for a few months so it's great to finally jump back in the community i hope all is well awesome take care of the kitties right and welcome back welcome back crack oh man titus is just incredible yeah titus amazing amazing that was the first dvd i ever bought what a movie it was the first DVD. yeah what a movie what a, on the same caliber as this lighthouse so titus the uh, movie i think there's only one titus movie uh it's a shakespearean play uh, amazing same same caliber as lighthouse so if you enjoyed lighthouse watch that as well third aggression fast and the furious wind diesel elder god the idea of alcohol abuse was well used in this movie as well incredibly well used and as soon as they went dry they started drinking gasoline that's when the insanity really took over they they had put holes in their brain really mostly to start up the sexual confusion between them haha -ha. good point but yeah basically what do they call it when uh, you've you've been an alcoholic for so long uh, something brain mush mush brain whole brain i forget what it's called birdie i'm going to watch this film watch it it's an amazing movie crack just the way they try to deal with their situation it naturally led into that as well now uh crack says to all the god okay i'm gonna i'm just gonna read the comments regarding the lighthouse because i think we're gonna move on to the next movie elder god i thought for a while that they were the same person ah like a fight club and i'm still not convinced about this idea really i never even thought about that dude i never oh my god Be when they were leaving as well there were two people leaving so maybe anybody that takes on an isolation type of 
situation like that has their second persona the evils that they're dealing with you know elder god we can confirm this one way all we need to do is look back into the 1800s and historical search were lighthouses manned by two people or one person in general for four week or six week period if historically they were manned by one person then i need to completely rewatch this movie again the photo at the beginning was just wrong for me oh my god i never thought about that oh god we need a historical reference to this were lighthouses manned by individuals or two people and it's got to be for four if it was for six months or four months it would most likely be, be with two people if it was only a f one month period then maybe they were one person caligula's horse i love the tension and how uh seclusion added to the mystery to the overall film the music added a great feeling of dread amazing amazing soundtrack the soundtrack 10 out of 10 one of the greatest soundtracks ever right padre 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 in order to find out about himself he had to create another worker to communicate to work it out Whoa. third aggression me and willem dafoe share the same birthday july 22nd same with david spain and alex trebek alex trebek <laughs> very fight club very fight club joe i believe they have crews of more than one people uh, now maybe but what about 1800s right because this was supposed to be 1896 or something like this elder god and there was two points where some reflections were identical oh what i missed it what really okay man we got to take this to discord we got to check this out on discord let's go to the next movie gang rating my rating lighthouse 10 out of 10 without a doubt without a doubt 10 out of 10 okay 10 out of 10 let's go to the next movie ready we're going in reverse order okay elder god 10 out of 10 joe i only saw that because there is a famous story of a lighthouse in scotland called flannan uh, isles lighthouse where three lighthouse keepers mysteriously disappeared wow 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 so they were together caligula's horse i also think the lighthouse appeals to men more than women due to his primal nature my female friends didn't like it yeah i can't see um i watched it by myself so i don't know uh what my partner but i don't know if she would enjoy it padre or the clues making them uh or the clues making them the same person were to uh highlight that they had both murdered a man man we gotta look this and look into this gang the next movie completely different level super troopers <laughs> super troopers from 2001 super troopers from 2001 what are people's thoughts on this baby here i've seen this movie a few times i've seen this movie a few times check this out this is a local plum just picked them yesterday crazy sweet crazy sweet full of juice so good it literally, literally disintegrates in your mouth shenanigans laugh out loud says <laughs> super troopers super troopers being beams are gonna blind me but i won't feel blue <laughs> oh classic girls of force gang as far as i'm concerned super troopers has one of the greatest one of the greatest 
beginning first 10 minutes of a movie ever right so damn funny so funny so funny the first the intro to this movie just makes you crack up i was laughing my ass off and i've laughed my ass off every time i've seen it and i've seen this movie probably like this was the fifth time i was probably seeing it There, there's a second super troopers as well i've watched that as well not even close i've only watched that once and it once is going to be it this is the this is the classic right and gang don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor tube Padre, Padre, Padre. Yeah, the first time I watched it, I was crying. <laughs> so funny. So funny. Grow for us. Everyone uh, in my, uh, every one of my friends' group has added uh, Schnozberg in the Meow game to their Lexicon half day. <laughs> meow, that's new to me. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> third aggression tonight the super troopers uh the super uh, super trooper lights are gonna find me shining like the sun super trooper now they're gonna find me abba abba third aggression that is abba the beams are gonna blind me but i feel blue <laughs> Free Assange, free Assange, the third aggression says. You no longer say YouTube. No, man. Censor tube, censor tube. The censor tube is not for you and me, it's for corporate propagandists. That's why we're on three other video sharing platforms. <laughs> Grow for us. Anytime we tripped on mushrooms without fail, someone goes quiet and starts laughing to themselves, muttering, That would crack me up. I've never had anyone do that to me. What are they censoring? Oh, man, they're censoring any. They're censoring human beings, they're censoring open dialogue. They're censoring discussion. They're censoring anything they, they don't want people to talk about. Elder God, quote, every time I've watched it, there are parts that irritate me uh, or make me roll my eyes. And then five minutes later, I'm in tears laughing. It's definitely one of those. It's so bad, it's good kind of movie. Cheryl couldn't come, come so she asked me to post this. <laughs> hilarious and i totally agree with her i totally agree with her but the funny parts outweigh the bad parts the the cringeworthy parts right and mind you it's it's a cop movie i rarely watch cop movies this is i think the only cop movie i watch right so we're gonna reel cheryl's uh, read cheryl's uh, comment again this is cheryl's review every time i watched it there are parts that irritate me or make me roll my eyes and then five minutes later i'm in tears laughing it's definitely one of those it's so bad it's good kind of movie indeed indeed cheryl's cheryl's comment regarding super troopers has gone into record <laughs> let it be known <laughs> divine tragedy 209 hello chicho how are you i'm laughing my ass off man i'm doing good thank you very much third aggression You've censored chil children, Chicho. Children. <laughs> They've censored children. <laughs> Censor two has censored children, but you know, the CIA shills giving their commentaries. They they can say anything they want. Right? Super troopers. Now they're gonna find me. Elder God, police corruption, brutality, and politics pressures wrapped into a common environment. <laughs> but 
bullying tactics, taking being above the law, like everything. Everything that is wrong with policing is in this movie, but it's still damn funny. Elder God, to be fair, I don't understand comedy movies. Some comedy movies. Did you like the beginning opening scene of this, Elder God? Watch Monster House, Paul a Blatt, small cop, and who be Halloween? I don't, I've never seen that. Grow Forest, I have a cannabis breeder friend who named the strain Little A Cola. The Ferva Dynamic is so good and fits so many ar archetypes of rural folk, folk I know. One of the reasons Super Troopers went over really well in canada anyway was because they're bringing canadian weed into the united states and i believe some of the some of the people involved with it were canadian right so canadian weed this is we're talking 2001 right uh british columbia was considered to be a narco state by the united states they were f sending in black hawk black hawk helicopters like the black covert helicopters into british columbia to raid farms like the insanity of it right <laughs> insanity of it so when this movie came out this this was a pretty big hit in canada because canadian weed was being considered to be really high grade weed being smuggled into the united states padre won't anyone think about the child <laughs> divine tragedy they're censoring the free trade of ideas censor to is inherently evil super naive to their corporate puppeteers yeah incredible and they're laundering money up the yin yang taxpayer money going through wall street like mad like mad it is insanity we'll see where it goes hold on hold on tight folks we're in for a ride <laughs> like box. when do you choose movies we're going to choose movies two days from now uh two days three days from now tomorrow we're going to do personal finance and then saturday morning 11 till 1 i think saturday we're doing movie uh, nominating movies and we run polls and the winner of the polls uh usually we have around 20 movies that are recommended and then we run like four heats and if there's ties we watch uh, both movies so this time we had six movies in our list to watch oh god i have been to i have been too honest I laugh at horror movies and comedy movies make me cringe. <laughs> awesome. Oh my God. I used to laugh at horror movies so much. Loved horror movies. I treated horror movies and comedy movies as the same. Right? Third aggression. Chicho is very much uh, folk music. What's your name, Chicho? <laughs> Chicho. Rule two. No names. Third aggression. Like Mandarins. Uh -huh. Facebook and Twitter is where yeah Twitter well oh, garbage Gar Facebook garbage <laughs> garbage the echo chamber in Twitter is over the top man <laughs> over the top I can't believe their stocks I don't like all-time highs short the shit out of that shit <sighs> seriously please just three just three this time elder God my god yeah we I I dropped the ball on this one it, we, it took us way too long to review these movies gang what's your take on this movie for me i give it as in terms of comedy movie i would give it an eight eight point five out of ten okay eight point five out of ten in terms of comedy okay and i think that's the way the rating should be right divine tragedy pretty much all mainstream media is corporate it's garbage it's I, it, for me i'm not a I, I i don't really disagree with corporate but corporate propaganda is the issue not the corporate part because corporation is just a tax system right it's the propaganda value right they're propagandists that's why in general i call them propagandists right not follow box do you have themes or just all movies just movies they go all over the place right i mean lighthouse super troopers <laughs> you could have two completely opposite movies i think i know chicho's first name but i won't reveal it no chicho chicho i've been going i've been by the way gang i've, I've been going by chicho online 
than longer than some of you have been alive i've been my nickname has been chicho online since the late 1990s okay hi everyone crazy bro athens how are you doing hope you're all doing well doing very well thank you very much five out of ten oliga says sorry cheryl her her nomination cheryl says five out of ten <laughs> In terms of comedy, eight, 8, 8. 8.5 out of 10 for me. Just the opening 10 minutes it kicks it into the 7 category, right? Where was the movie on your uh, moist meter? <laughs> Tears? Mm, uh, you know what? On moist meter, one of the movies that is a, a tear jerker, a complete tear jerker, is Grave of the Fireflies. It's an animation from the 1980s. Uh, regarding Hiroshima by Studio Ghibli. So if you want a tearjerker, Grave of the Fireflies, one of the most emotionally impactful movies, Divine Tragedy. I follow multiple Facebook uh, flat earther anti max pages. I lose brain cells every time I go on there. I just, uh, Facebook is designed to make people lose their brain cells. Same with Twitter. Facebook and Twitter and sensor tube is going in that direction is designed to make people stupid. End of story, right? There's no denying it, there's no arguing it. If you wanna if 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 you think you know too much that the world you can't handle, really, if the world is too much for you, right? Now that you know and you wish you didn't know, okay, turn off all other social media, okay only go to twitter and facebook i guarantee you in about five years it'll take a little bit of time to program you if you're already if you already see what the issues are right it'll take about five years in five years time you'll think <laughs> you'll you'll think like the majority that is programmed that are there that abide by everything that is told to them by centralized power that do not think for themselves zero critical thought that have money invested in wall street and uh think anybody that has is talking about the system in a negative way is crazy aside from that any more stuff regarding super troopers what is your oh i have multiple favorite movies crazy crazy bro athens grow force is the best of the broken lizard franchises second would be beer fest beer fest was funny too beer fest has his moments right these movies came out at a perfect time in my life and became a series of references for shenanigans my friends and i emulated eagerly and joyfully yeah and beer fest was funny too i've seen beer fest once only though this is this is the cream of the crop this is the best they put out okay oh my god my favorite trooper just got another suspension uh for talking to mushrooms haha <laughs> crazy 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 we right now sensor tube is just knocking my <laughs> my subscribers down <laughs> i load something bad on all of a sudden 200 subscribers disappear what <laughs> aggression third okay let's talk about the movies uh twitter what was the twitter twitter bans me if i verify grindel <laughs> next movie let's go okay gang next movie gladiator gladiator classic 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 <laughs> third question yes elder god loves it elder god what are you giving gladiator just say it you're giving it a 10 out of 10 gladiator it's a good movie man it's a very good movie right as far as a blockbuster goes it's a pretty damn good movie right very good movie as far as i'm concerned i give gladiator in terms of blockbuster movies we're gonna recommend one nine out of ten right and the soundtrack was really good with it and it has good moral storytelling uh, beautiful music beautiful music yeah yeah beautiful music beautiful soundtrack right third aggression i think moist meter isn't for you to cry it's where it stands on your joy joygasm meter <laughs> what's the fun um eight-legged freaks is amazing as well eight-legged freaks laugh my ass off 
elder god maximus is the very definition of how to be a man elder god i agree with you i agree with you right loyalty to to a point family above all else uh, duty right honor honor bound kindness uh seeing your i think it's human bound really but seeing the objective through to the end no matter the cost right padre yep his speech his speech man was class his speech man was classical <laughs> right after all the god oh god he leads by example and takes no prisoners for his actions yeah Third aggression. Spider-Man frightened me, but uh, uh, spiders frighten me. But I do like Spider-Man. Ha <laughs> ha! Third aggression. Uh, watch Eight Legged Freaks. It's a pretty fun movie, man. Super fun. And gang, don't forget, Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see WikiLeaks.org, Defend.WikiLeaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on CensorTube. Crazy Bro Athens, Mouse Hunt and Rat Race were also hilarious <laughs> what concerns epic movies i found kingdom of heaven a good one i don't know if i've seen that one yet third aggression i like watching unnecessary censorship videos grow first but this movie has fueled me for hours of runs and weightlifting haha <laughs> i hit 200 kilo uh, kilo squat um uh, PR is uh, what's PR stand for? Free weights, right? With Isilium, uh playing in my ears. Cool, cool, cool. Free Assange. Isilium, Isilium. Uh, da, 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 da. Personal record, personal record, PR, personal record. And for sure, you're doing squats, like legit, right? free weights only no machine crap fantastic movie what's your ratings on this gang soundtrack amazing soundtrack 9 out of 10 movie 9 out of 10 really uh, fantastic movie right and uh, really good acting right Commodos was the direct opposite of maximus and very ruthless very ruthless all these abbreviations i learned ip uh is not ip <laughs> it trust it's intellectual property yeah knights of old comic how are you doing did you already talk about like yeah brother we start off with lighthouse but you're welcome to throw it in what's your opinion on the lighthouse me 10 out of 10 elder god 10 out of 10 what are you giving it phenomenal movie Grow force Asilium is that soundtrack at the end where he buries the uh, figurines. Oh, okay. I will see you again, but not yet. Not yet. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Cool. Awesome. OTT outfit of the day. All free weights. All free weights. You gotta do free weights. There's only a handful of things you gotta do uh, with the machines. Not even a handful. One or two, possibly. Knights of Old Comic. Lighthouse lighthouse oops lighthouse nine out of ten cool 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 or is this for gladiator oh my god the idea that nobility is a birthright is is destroyed in this movie indeed very well said oh my god blessed mother come to me with the god's desires for my future blessed father watch over my wife and son with a ready sword whisper to me that i live only to hold them again for all else is dust and air ancestors i honor you and will try to live with the dignity that you have taught me direct quote elder god Third aggression chicho did you ever get into harry potter or star star wars yeah but only the first three 
the rest are just pure garbage except for the animations right uh, harry potter i only watched the first movie when it first came out padre if maximus was good masculine did commodos express feminine qualities or mass masculine masculine express neg i think masculine express negatively right the bad what you do not want to be as a human being really as a human being right but yeah that would be the worst vile type of male friend you could have okay that oh selfish self self-preservation does, doesn't care about destroying anyone else has zero remorse and the remorse is only in relation to how it affected their lives not how it affected other people's lives right grow force maximus was alpha commodus with gamma tyrant tyrant commodus 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 i can't even pronounce it most politicians most of the people that we see controlling centralized power right now are that character the character that we see representing maximus right the one person right now that i can just right off say maximus is julian assange right and on that note don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or julian assange and wikileaks playlist on sensor tube as for the all the commodases in our in our midst i hope they all have the same fate at the end when the dust settles right kelly padre says cares only for self and getting power yeah joe have you ever heard of a band called uh, yeah ceramic people around the time of the roman let's check this out they are uh, they are a folk group whose music is based on ruin inscriptions from Ger germanic people around the time of the roman empire very interesting really i don't know it link it up for us in our uh, discord page uh, music wise oh my god i also noticed how uh, stoic maximus was in the whole movie everyone changed though uh though the movie but he remained true to himself hmm. i said beep knights of old comic Ba-doink. let's check it out thomas chicho have you ever seen the master by paul thomas anderson i don't think so i don't think so Knights of Volcom Chicho, did you talk about the theory that the lighthouse was a metaphor for the process of masturbation? Really wild. Whoa, no, we didn't even take it there. Where we did take it, Knights of Old Comic, Elder God brought this up, which was a, sort of a, a different take on the fight club where both people were really one person and the assistant was the... Uh, the persona of the lighthouse keeper no but i didn't take it there N uh, knights of old comic metaphor for the process of mastery no 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 was a metaphor for the process of mastery no that'd be an interesting i gotta watch that movie again man i gotta watch that movie again grow force excellent suggestion to joe add it to the playlist what did joe recommend yeah how long um grow force if you're on discord link it up for us brother so gang nine out of ten for me El elder god i think gave 10 out of 10 what are your ratings for gladiator we're moving on to the next movie gang we're moving on to the next movie the next movie is bottle rockets bottle rockets from 20 out of 10 oh my god gives <laughs> gladiator awesome 
Bottle Rockets from 1996. From 1996, Joe, I highly recommend their last show from Castle Fest in 2017. The whole show is available on Sensor 2. The show call is called Lifa. Okay. Whoever is on our Discord page, if you find it, link it there. I know which, how were you doing? Gang, Bottle Rockets. For me, I saw this a long, long time ago. I think when it first came out, and I hadn't, I hadn't seen it again okay i wasn't sure what to expect when i went into it loved it okay i give bottle rockets nine out of ten for what it is right great movie it has a lot of heart and it has humor and it has kindness it's it's a human movie right really and i and i don't really like that actor with the crooked nose anymore right but this was when he was coming up working his way up i guess independent sort of independent uh, sort of underground flew under the radar i guess um nine out of ten from eight out of five out of ten right third question chicho is very uh much savage garden and nickelback <laughs> nickelback nickelback uh is it nickelback the canadian group that are, they're in alberta they have british accents I actually accidentally I went to somewhere and accidentally saw them. Oh my god. Third aggression. He's got the nickels back. Haha. Anuj, 1917 is a great war movie. Uh I watched last month. Yeah, we saw it. We talked about 1917 uh in a previous uh movie stream, I believe. Pretty fun movie, Padre says regarding bo uh, bottle rockets. I was I was happy at the end. It re it's it's a it's a real feel good movie indeed one of the best feel good movies ever right really a fantastic feel good movie great feel good movie elder god to gladiator quote tons of politics it probably was uh not too dissimilar to the actual drama of rome nor to modern politics albeit now it's in a more acceptable form Com Commodus, Commodus is an excellent demonstration of why hereditary leadership often fails. He kept power but failed the people, so to speak. End quote. And again, this is from Cheryl. Cheryl's comment about Gladiator has gone into record. Third aggression. You like Nickelback? If is, isn't Nickelback the guy? They have British accents when they talk, but they sing like they're based in Alberta or something, man. Uh, not at the Nickelback. I, I I recommend you want you listen to System of a Down. Uh, it might be a it might be a little bit more intense, uh, better, maybe System of a Down. Yeah, yeah, System of a Down. Very good. Or Dillinger Escape Plan would be a little bit more to my liking. Dillinger Escape Plan and System of a Down. I think they blow away Nickelback uh, just by the first chord, really. <laughs> if if Nickelback is what I'm thinking about, <laughs> otherwise my apologies, Nickelback. I'm trash talking to you. And Nickelback is famous for the meme song photograph, is it? Anuj, <laughs> clandestine Chicho recently watched the history of violence since you recommended it like one year ago. Awesome! Did you like it? Did you like it? Clandestine? What a great movie! Third aggression. I bet you sick of this. Uh, I wrote an amazing review of them. Do Chicho System of Down review? Read it. Read it. System of Down is always loot worthy. Are you a fan of sports, Chicho? Uh, love a lot box. I, I love sports. I've played them. I watched the European Championships. Padre, like it better than a lot of his other movies. Doesn't feel as big and feels less uh, COD than his later ones. Yeah, this movie with the main actor with the nose side yeah yeah i don't watch anything with him again I, I i actually he's he's the same guy by the way in the loki tv series right he's in the loki tv series elder god i hated this movie why'd you hate it elder god how come you hated it what what did you hate about it the quirkiness of it the quirkiness of it Ch -ch. 
Club music is good. Deep house. I like electronic club. Aggression. Eduardo, laugh a lot. I like this, but I don't remember too much about it. Uh, I was on a Wes Anderson rampage. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Owen Wilson also quite uh, quit acting because of this uh, movie to join the Marines. Did he? That's his name, the one with the nose. He joined the Marines? He quit acting to join the Marines after this? I think it's Owen Wilson with the with the nose, no? Clandestine. I'm not sure yet. It was interesting, but I sometimes felt like it was lacking some direction. Possibly. How did you like the directing? The 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 tension building up where you didn't know what was gonna happen, right? And that's uh, a history of violence. Yeah, how many times the third aggression goes? How many times does Owen Wilson go? Wow, <laughs> too many. <laughs> Maybe as many times as Chicho goes. Uh, awesome. I do. Yeah, he is. Uh, he is a Loki. Yeah. Now they got the underlining uh, wokeish message. I, I didn't find it very wokeish. Tell you the truth, I just found it sincere. I just found that sincere, right? And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital House. Power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. Anuj, Loki, Loki is doing some multiverse experiments. I think so, yeah, that's what people were talking about. His brother is Luke Padre. Owen Wilson is in another good Wes Anderson movie, The Jarling Limited. Oh, I think I've seen him. He's good in that uh, too. That was the two brothers and sister. They're dealing with a father's death or something, right? Have you, Laugh Out Loud Box, have you heard anything from Alter Bridge? No. Phenomenal. <laughs> clandestine yeah i liked how he built the suspense and the under uh uncertainty if the men in black spoke the truth about him yeah and we didn't know where it was going right and by the way clandestine now that you watched and we're talking about history of violence my apologies gang read the graphic novel right the graphic novel is even though i love the movie is phenomenal as well unique different 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 it's more brutal than the movie elder god the man with the greatest potential gets the shaft and the lovebird rich twat <laughs> gets what he wants <laughs> to a certain degree agreed to a certain degree agreed but he needed it he was fragile he needed it he was fragile Okay, so stop pretending to get on the next album. Haha, <laughs> third aggression. Multiverse Spider Man. No way home. Eduardo, I hated Dark Journey Limited, but I loved Owen Wilson on Wes Anderson's Life Aquatic with Steve uh, uh, Zizou. Zizou. Alter Bridge was Creed members that formed with another singer after they first split. I do like Creed too. Creed is good. I don't know Alter Bridge. I know Toby Maguire returning in the new Spider Man movie. People are talking about Spider Man. From like no, Spider Man. <laughs> Will do. Awesome clandestine. I hope you like the graphic novel, man. Uh, let us know or let me know. Uh, like i don't know too many people who've read it i don't know anyone that's read it actually right which silent movie i, I would recommend grab all of charlie chaplin and laurel laurel and hardy's silent movies and watch them start off with charlie chaplin charlie chaplin i love laurel and hardy phenomenal comedy right but it doesn't have the political slant to them right charlie chaplin 
has a political slant to it, right? Uh, so it's humor, but political. Charlie Chaplin was one of the greatest. Uh, uh, Charlie Chaplin to movies is what Tesla was to science, okay? To technology. Baku Dada. Bakul Dada. That was your question. Silent movie. It's phenomenal. Elder God. Owen Wilson's 75 plan was well formulated and was only messed up by the interruption of others. Who he uh, who he considered family, but were just using him. Yeah, he got he, he was he got duped. He had a lot of love to give. That was that was Owen Wilson's character, right? He just wanted he loved the world. He had so much love. He just trusted the wrong people to a certain degree worked out for him in some ways, right? He made some amazing friends, right? Pro police brutality in a big way. And heist Elagot and the heist test was a good gauge of people um, motivation but i will leave that for now okay Chapl uh, chaplain's dictator speech is still relevant and will likely be uh evergreen the way uh the way things are playing out yeah grow forest and that's when he was doing the talking right but he did a lot of silence as well watch like yeah really what I forget the names, uh, the blind kid. Um, uh, anyway, some South Korean movies are awesome. Yeah, indeed, amazing. Gang, for me, Bottle Rockets, seven and a half out of ten. Okay, if you watch the whole thing, eight out of ten. It's endearing. Okay, it's a feel good movie. As far as a feel good movie goes, 8 out of 10. Bottle Rockets. Oh God, I found a girl, uh, a distraction, but that's probably uh, my bias. To a certain degree, I found, a, I don't know if I found a distraction. She was, in, her reality was totally different than their reality, right? I don't know, Dada. I don't know the one take movies. Should we go to the next movie? Oh man, oh man, Padre. I like how we will see which Spider Man is really the coolest. Yeah. Elder God, 3 out of 10, 4 bottle rockets. I balance out Elder God with an 8. System of a what? The system of a what? Gang, the next movie. Buck Rogers in the 25th century. Doo -doo 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 -doo. My rating for this is a 0.5 out of 10. What a crap movie. <laughs> as far as a timepiece goes, you can give it a 2 out of 10 as far as a timepiece. If you don't put it into the context of the period, which is 1976, I believe. Let me check this out. 1976? 1979. If you don't put it in the context of 1979, it's a 0.5 out of 10. If you put it in that context, 2 out of 10. <laughs> What's the band's name again? System of a Down. I hate you, Chicho. <laughs> By the way, this was my recommendation. <laughs> my suggestion. And people voted it up. We had to, oh my God, we had to see it. Because what is reason Chicho God hates me. I had to sit down and watch this. I ate it myself while watching it. <laughs> low budget, don't know. Not even close to Star Wars. Uh, low budget garbage. <laughs> it's it was the it was the best sci-fi we could get at the time, or you know, wave of sci-fi coming up. Right? Too funny, Padre Padre. Weren't you really excited to watch this? I was. <laughs> Elder God, for me, <laughs> so I'll finish off Elder God's sentence. I hate you, Chicho, for making me watch this movie. What a dystopian society, right? What a dystopian society, right? Just imagine. 
like the mindset that you would have to be in to watch this movie if you're an adult and go a great movie what what bipster how are you doing hey chicho it's been a long time welcome to the last stream anuj lava lava chicho is trolling us at this point <laughs> Did you guys do your homework? You better have done your homework. This is like classic centralized education, right? There is some good stuff in there, all right? But there is some garbage you got to consume, man. There is some garbage you got to consume. And in our situation, the garbage, the percent of garbage that we saw, we had to watch is way less than the percent of garbage they're giving you centralized education, right? Dickie Roberts, little Nikki. Blitzer, the last weird movie I watched was Begotten. I don't think I've seen Begotten. Not super big into Adam Sandler's. Uh, there's one Adam Sandler's movie which is good. Um, oh, I forget what it's called. It was really trippy where he walks into the grocery store and he he's looking for opportunities and he finds a deal giveaway where it requires a lot of uh, travel points. I forget. How, uh, oh, man, I forget what it's called. That was a really good movie. I somehow had this Buck Rogers comic in early 2000s. Man. Check it out on eBay. See what it sell for, sells for. I knew it's Chicho. If you watch good adult anime, watch uh, uh, Castlevania. On that. I've seen the whole thing. Fantastic. It is really well done. It is really well done. It is really well done. Agreed, agreed, agreed. Uh third third aggression automod zapped one of your words that you used i'm going to keep it zapped okay i'm not going to approve it in general i do approve but you can say the same thing in a better way okay s3 x scenes s3 x scenes elegant sexism oh sexism sexism stuff outfits oh is that what sexism scenes it was the slump is that for uh I, i'm not approving your comment uh third aggression but is that regarding buck rogers uh eldegoss sexism stuff uh stuff outfits ridiculous dancing the world holocaust thrown in as well yeah indeed uh so like just go and giving power over to ai to rule over humanity and uh, make decisions for humanity dumbing humanity down to a level which they were literally delayed as you know the word that we can't say here uh, right padre 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 people took their kids to see this haha <laughs> you know they were thinking what the world was coming to yeah what the world was coming to was was where we are now uh, crazy punch drunk love yeah grow force great movie punch drunk love love the anger loved elder god uh, i don't know elder god maybe punch drunk love great movie i want to saw that movie at least twice in the theaters really good movie really good movie gore force i agree with you anuj walter mitty walter mitty love that movie what what is this i'm an invisible target third question is this dada do you think there have been comics in past where pentagon or illuminati managed to get in uh, get in signs of what events or the way world would work yeah for sure i think there's there's been tons of comics where the pentagon the centralized power has been molding sending the stuff into uh the collective psyche to be to become acceptable i mean a lot of the movies the from the comic books that are coming out right now they're considered to be programming as well by the way like there's tremendous amount of propaganda in all the disney movies all of them marvel movies all of them there isn't a single one that is not full of propaganda same with dc right bitster Thank you very much for the tier one sub, Bipster. Uh, wa watch Begotten. The first 30 minutes are gore, weird, and I found that uh, hilarious. The rest of the movie is just boring. 
Begotten. Which movie is that? I know the name, but I can't remember. Dada, do you think there have been comics? Oh, I already read that. Take a bench. Thank you, Elder God. Yeah, I think uh, Third Aggression needed to take a bow for a few minutes. Bit serious. A black. I don't know this movie. Which movie is this? Begotten. Which movie is Begotten? Who's in it? What's it about? And gang, don't forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. Anu, choo choo, MK Ultra runs deep in Disney movies. Deep, deep, deep. Right, Padre Padre, pretty strange. Millions of people get their nightly news brought to them from the Disney Corporation. Crazy. Bipster, can I uh, can I send the link in chat? It's on you. Um, only mods and myself can link in chat. You can post the link on uh, Discord. If you're on a Discord, we have a film folder in Light Topics. Uh, if you link it up there. Or send a PM to Elder God if Elder God's easily accessible and he can provide the link. Uh, begotten. Colin Firth, Firth, Colin Firth movie? Colin Farrell movie. Colin Farrell? The acting was so wooden in BR that I was waiting for uh, Buck Rogers grew <laughs> to show up. <laughs> hilarious in buck rogers buck rogers what a horrendous movie there you, you could break this apart but it's not even worth it it's just garbage movie uh not worth the time all right dada how do you think people's psyche towards movies have changed from the 1990s to now uh colin farrell colin farrell yeah okay no i don't think i've seen be uh how how people's psyche have has changed uh, even though Buck Rogers was a complete crap movie, there was a lot of great quality movies coming out back then that were hitting the mainstream that were based on dialogue and storytelling. Right now, there's a lot of storytelling being told through just action. It's just like, look at, you know, I watched Black Widow. Look at Black Widow, right? It. I watched half of it. We haven't, we haven't finished it because it's just the amount of story in that thing it's just it's a it's a video game i think by the way i think one of the reasons movies have have turned into what they are now and we saw it in a big way with star wars okay after the first three number four or number five it's it's more than just woke uh elder god it's not the woke didn't come into play in the late 1990s okay but movies had already changed the reason movies changed in the 1990s to become what they are now is because of the introduction of video games. I remember seeing whatever the Star Wars movie was with Jar Jar, all right? I think that was the number fourth movie that came out or something like this, right? That movie was a video game cutscene put together. That movie was not designed to make a lot of money based on the movie. It was designed to make money on the products specifically the video games right so it was just cut scenes it was just pure garbage right so to me that's one of the things that has happened right and what we're seeing right now is the comic book medium taking over sort of a some of the movies that are coming out movies and tv shows coming out lucky for us there are a tremendous amount of independent comic books out there where the script is written, the angles are shot, the lighting is done in the comic books, and all the studio has to do is just basically copy the comic books, right? The storyboard is already done, but it's not it's more than the storyboard, it's everything, right? And you just have to adjust it a little bit for some, some a lot more, where comic books are being used to create a lot of movies and there's some amazing comic books out there and we're seeing some amazing comic book based movies coming out which and series coming out tv series coming out uh long format mini series coming out which are really good 
like we are uh, ready for evolution in movies i think so too uh padre i think we're seeing the evolution of movies right now bitter uh -huh. 1999 1999 gang enough talk about buck rogers don't watch it don't waste your time my apologies for recommending it because i just hadn't seen it since back then and back then i was a kid and it was science fiction and i love science fiction so i watched it right <clears throat> yeah bitzer legion case in point one of the greatest long format tv shows to watch <clears throat> which was three seasons i believe bitzer right 10 out of 10 right legion okay make sure for releasing this year wow 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 elder god i just want a movie with a great storyline acting and old-fashioned acts yeah uh, elder god gives gives buck rogers zero out of ten i give it a 0.5 out of ten just because they were using science fiction uh, aside from that oh what a horrendous thing it was my god biggie 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 can't you see let's watch the next let's talk about the next movie which is a masterpiece before i load it up that a great point chicho movies nowadays seem to place undue over emphasis on acting actively always happening in the movie uh, as important while previously a bit of silence in meandering in movies was more common for certain parts of the movie yeah the action parts came fa one of the longest movies that had the longest action scenes action scenes which really got a lot of play right was the french connection right the french connection from 1970s i believe it came out about heroin uh smuggling coming in from france and the mafia there and you know connection with new york great movie by the way but that movie had one of the longest chase scenes action scenes in movie history right now that action scene would be considered like a short scene in most of the hollywood movies right really good and it's from marvel yeah legion gang if you guys haven't seen legion watch legion series infinite infinite star code worse studio studios always uh, project modern politics into the sci-fi sci fantasy world world building is dead unfortunately unfortunately uh for the big box movies indeed right we used to have a lot more world building in terms of science fiction and stuff but we're getting a little bit of that in series right padre to data yeah more movies are characters a character back then almost every blockbuster nowadays are all super sterile super sterile gang in terms of action character amazing movie seven samurai seven samurai one of the greatest movies ever made 10 out of 10 no doubt you haven't seen it sit down and watch it this is your homework okay your homework seven samurai you watch you'll see what action is about you'll see what character dri driven movie is about you'll see what heart is about you'll see what cinematography is about right amazing movie padre but there's no way they could ever shoot that shot again either yeah seven samurai elder god in french connection padre yeah it would all be just be cg right in the french connection that scene any more cigar videos coming up for sure we're going to do more cigar videos this summer great movie anuj great movie indeed seven samurai infinite star code i'll watch it i've not seen it all the way through yeah sit down and watch slow pace character driven lots of heart lots of controversy right what a great movie what a great movie bitzer the movie i enjoyed this year was the new mortal Kombat. it is it out yet i don't i don't I haven't seen it yet is take uh take out a bad taste of the last movie they made really when did it come out i haven't seen it yet magnificent seven inspired by this indeed and magnificent seven is a western inspired movie that came out in 1960s 60s i believe that's this was the inspiration for it 
and magnificent seven is a phenomenal movie as well phenomenal movie as well or was magnificent seven in the 70s elder god the most important movie in the world <laughs> really why the most important movie in the world elder god well, this was a kurosawa indeed uh, anuj kurosawa movie third aggression you know chicho maybe you are the uh woke one uh maybe you need to take about i will say this and give you a link to jar jar binks <laughs> one is phantom men oh well, phantom menace oh my god what a bad movie and in episode one if you listen uh to dave fillion's explaining the brilliance of the prequels uh yeah no i'm sorry uh garbage as far as i'm concerned blitzer i came out this year i don't know exactly but it was this year was it this year okay okay i'll do a little search and see if it's around cigars and liqueurs yeah i was gonna do liqueurs as well but decided to go with the gin magnificent seven gang what a phenomenal movie what a time 1954 1954 okay 1954 and I'll read you the IMDb description for it. A poor village under attack by bandits recruits seven un, um, unemployed samurai to help them defeat, defend themselves. Okay. Akira Kurosawa. Uh, uh, directed and written. Okay. Phenomenal movie from 1954. elder god the seventh samurai director inspired star star wars director spaghetti western directors and several others indeed it's basically the the most one of the most classic hero movies of all time right it's even the inspiration for the marvel movies right when you see all the heroes and how many heroes were there in avengers when they're defending new york from an attack from a galactic bandits really right this 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 movie is the foundation of much of superhero comic books and movies that you've seen hollywood and stuff produce this is it this this is it as far as i know this is the beginning right their shaw brothers as well have, has, have put out a lot of stuff right so this is the japanese version kurosawa japanese version of shaw brothers movies from that same period okay like come drink with me from the shaw brothers is just as magnificent as this but that's the chinese version right this is the japanese version and i can't i can't remember when come drink with me came out it was 1950s as well okay the seven samurai zoot how are you doing seven samurai gets the credit for the birth of the hollywood remakes well car alarm sorry gang so seven samurai gets gets the credit for the birth of the hollywood remakes does it cool didn't quentin tarantino say that did he say it uh infinite uh infinite star code bitzer okay last question and i'm gone do you think you're gonna make some movie uh or uh silmarillion silmarillion make some movie or of i don't know what silmarillion is what is that do you think they're gonna make uh make some make a movie on Sil i don't know what's uh, what that is <laughs> third aggression you're bored <laughs> you you must be young third aggression remember this just just look at look at the screen remember this i am chicho this movie right here that you're seeing as you get older when you get older when you start looking around and you're trying to find you are trying to understand what's going on in the world and where things have where they got their origin from specifically in regards to movies comic books heroes a huge part of our society the underdog 
the the bully the conqueror the emperor the empire right the gorilla the warfare when you're trying to have bigger questions in your life than just having your say when you reach a point when you need a little silence you need a little time to think watch the seven samurai okay just a recommendation brother just a recommendation you won't be bored that's when you'll go ah, what and then you'll have to go back and reanalyze some of your life i wish you well anuj yojimbo was inspired uh the good the bad and the ugly and other western spaghettis cool 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 third aggression marvel is the mc fake death universe and also the m uh you woke universe now the color grading is faded on all the movies they are yeah the, i don't like what they're doing with the color the dc con, dc movies anyway elder god they're very invention of the small group against the attacking army hell hell die hard came for the for this <laughs> token token indeed token had uh was it seven token as well was it seven or thirteen i can't I keep on forgetting about that data do you agree with the solar system actually uh be part of the vort vortex uh, well in a black hole center yeah sure spiraling the Sam samarian is the story before the hobbit and the lord of the rings uh by token really i haven't read it what what was this what was your original comment dun, 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 dun. are they gonna make a movie of the Sam i haven't read it i don't know it i hope they do if it's token really and gang don't forget don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange and wikileaks playlist on censor tube elder god this movie was about building people up to their full potential ah well said well said right this guy this guy that you see here he was built up to his full potential right very much so very much so <laughs> padre it is a story of our lives elder god quote saying others in uh, saving others in battle will saving yourself ah very well said xander that's the recycling truck that you're hearing gang we're getting noisy at the end xander well i'm super late hello chicho one everyone hello xander how are you doing hope oh, you're doing well token nor gratitude padre they all have different personalities and all express courage in their own way yeah the uniqueness of everyone in the village and the village mentality and the old lady man the old lady when they capture one of the bandits right and the samurai are trying to say no we don't do this and the old lady comes along you killed my son wow what a powerful scene oh third aggression i'm gonna time you up brother you're i think you're too young you're too young to be in this be in this uh to partake in this discussion <laughs> i wish you well <laughs> i'm just timing you out by the way when is your next comic uh comic auction um that uh, i'm not sure it'll be in the next set in the next set we're going to grade more and i i haven't listed anything on ebay yet i might wait until we grade some more comics and then just do a whole bunch in one shot and i don't think i want to send anything to cgc i just it takes too long and stuff maybe in the future we do maybe in the future we do infinite star code jbp hero's journey padre 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 my dog thinks 
that truck is outside my house <laughs> sloth man privacy chicho i love movie club streams uh what have i missed oh brother you just missed two hours of movie clubs we talked by the way gang uh, rating are we done with uh seven samurai are we done with seven samurai yeah any more comments about it it's just a masterpiece if you if you consider yourself a movie lover movie aficionado it's a must watch if you haven't watched seven samurai then you really don't understand uh the origin movies the type of storytelling that could be told uh, the 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 inspiration for many of the movies you've already watched right it's a must watch it's a must watch padre he almost made it. it i was hoping he would make it until the end ah me too padre me too i had totally I, I this was probably the third time that i've seen seven samurai it's a long movie so uh, i just haven't seen it as many times as some of the other long movies so and I, it had been so long since i've seen it me too me too me too Bitzer, I'm not even sure if I see it, but I'll watch it anyway. Yeah, watch it. Take your time with it. Enjoy it. Okay. And it's one of those movies that you almost need to watch alone. Okay. I enjoy watching movies alone. Some people don't, but to me, uh, it's, it was amazing. Elder God, I saw about 50 references to future characters in that movie. Padre, top 10, top 10. The Seven Samurai is top 10, top 5, top movie of many, many people in the world, right? Right? Have we picked any films to watch for next movie? No, uh, Slothman, we're picking those on Saturday. The Saturday stream at 1 p.m. P PST, my time, we're picking the movies. This was reviewing the movies. Okay. Right. fantastic fantastic the tesco man rating with a party of five thank you very much for the raid tesco and welcome everybody you're catching us at the end of the stream gang i do watch uh, watching movies alone for the first time alone i do love it yeah me too me too and gang here's the recap of the movies we recommended or we watched have you covered any japanese manga with english translations uh we've talked about um uh the akira uh taken uh lone wolf and cub right top 10 of my ten thousand. i have probably watched yeah it, it would be my top 10 as well elder god right i don't know if i watched ten thousand movies i don't know how many movies i've watched but i watched too many a lot right gang we talked about seven samurai 10 out of 10 for me anyway buck rogers 0.5 out of 10 bottle rockets for a feel-good movie 8 out of 10 gladiator 9 out of 10 super troopers for a funny humor movie 8 out of 10 lighthouse 10 out of 10 what a masterpiece indeed what a masterpiece indeed we sandwiched this movie stream with two black and white movies one from 2019 and one from 1954 right aside from that gang tomorrow evening we're doing a personal finance stream we're going to look at the stock market and and on saturday we're picking movies to watch elder god i have my nominations ready for saturday everyone have one ready for saturday if you you're so inclined indeed come with movie recommendations we're going to recommend movies and pick them to watch so we can review them in a future stream aside from that gang i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about we are on patreon it's a good way to follow the work i don't put anything behind paywalls everything is creative commons share share like and it's mainly layered on mathematics for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c h y c h o l i v e if you want to participate in the chat 
which is where you want to be at and gang for those of you on twitch that are supporting this work thank you very much for the support and mods thank you for taking care of business bitzer you sure i watch weird movie uh, bitzer bring him on bring him on gozu bitzer have you seen gozu japanese movie what a great movie that uh free assange free assange free assange gang julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our julian assange on wikileaks playlist on censor and i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gap parlor and bitcloud and we're probably going to add one more on there as well and you can come to our twitch channel anytime you like and type in exclamation mark social and all those things will pop up including our discord page where people are sharing a lot of information gozu lots of love for gozu indeed indeed elder god i want to say a lot more about the lighthouse but it would have uh, put the stream in sensor tube danger yeah yeah don't do it don't do it <laughs> We slowly some sometimes elder god I'm, I'm sort of trying to go the full-blown spectrum to a certain degree some of the stuff you introduce in with a lot of sugar little bits here and there whatever you can get away with to prep people to where they need to be or us for us to be where we need to be joe i have two films in mind for saturday both with mathematical themes awesome still trying to decide which one to nominate yeah indeed and you get to choose one that you're going to nominate you can talk about others for sure but you can only nominate one right iced hello hello how are you doing laugh out loud boss good stream fun stream fun stream gang we will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho is a podcast and that podcast this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream to sensor to to bit to rumble and to odyssey we're starting to get more subscribers joining us on bit rumble and odyssey and we're losing subscribers on sensor tube right either people are leaving sensor tube and joining us there or sensor tube is unsubscribing them or they're choosing to unsubscribe themselves um either way join us on bit shoot rumble and odyssey if you want to experience everything that we're putting out or if you want to see the world through the lens of google and sensor tube centralized power sensor tube still a good place to be we're going to share as much as we can and it is a bit clout yeah a data i i haven't added that in i gotta add the link in the description i got someone send me a reminder to add that in the social thing so it pops up my apologies i haven't yet I, so much to do in the background elder god movies were my first love and they will be my last movies are the future uh of the future and movies from the past awesome awesome ice it's so weird that it does that they do that yeah where do you want people to go laugh out loud box either bit shoot rumble or odyssey up to you i'm uploading everything to all those three platforms and they are free speech platforms and people can go anywhere you want to follow the work follow the work on patreon okay and we do have a subscribe star page as well and you can the links are in the description but i announce everything on patreon so if anything's going to go that's probably the last one that's going to go as well as uh, uh subscribe star right so and you don't have to donate to follow the work on patreon i don't put anything up behind paywalls right everything's creative commons gang so you can just follow the work and you get notifications as to what's popping up and all the links will be available to all those platforms and the notifications so it's up to you whichever one you want to watch okay Boop doop special, boop doop special. <laughs> <laughs> fun stream, thanks. Padre, fun stream. Thanks for having us, man. Oh, thank you for dropping by. Oh my God. Please do a five, uh, please, not a five month gap. No, no, no way, Elder God. My apologies about this time. I was marathoning some some TV series. I finished uh, uh, Demon Slayer. 
I'm caught up with My Hero Academia and I watched a couple of other series as well, right? So I was doing it that way. And gang, thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the love and thank you for all the good times. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night at 8 p.m. PST time, PDT time, my time, or on Saturday for more movies. And tomorrow is personal finance. Bye, everyone.